All right, bud, kiss him goodbye. See ya. That fish is everything to us. That, that fish is our livelihood. It's our passion. It's everything for us. We, we love the tarpon. Oh, boy. We will try to save a tarpon at, at any cost. Coming up. Oh, yeah, what a jump. Woo. I wasn't expecting one that big. And when all of a sudden a tarpon looks like a bait fish to you, the key. What we should do is run around this fish really aggressively. Like, we'll, we'll scare the hammerhead away. I'm serious. It works good. Okay. I've done it a lot. I mean, that's, that's a special fish. That's a 30 to 40 year old fish. That's something that we make our living doing. That fish is valuable. That's gold to us. It's definitely salt water. Oh, very salty. And we just went around and we could see the tarpon, see the tarpon. That's good enough. See the tarpon, see the tarpon. And then we stopped and he just shot off like that. Look at the shark. Oh my God. No, get oh him off of there. Break him off. Break him off. Break him off. There he goes. He shoots off. Next thing we see, we see the shark milling around looking for him. Man, I'll tell you what, man, my heart is beating so fast. Um, we'd like a report on how you broke that rod. Uh, well, <laughs> hang on a minute because this is gonna take a while. Yes, look at that guy. That is a shark. That's the biggest fish I've ever caught. Woo! I'm gonna continue okay, to relax. Oh, dude, he just ripped my boat off. first tarpon I ever guided anybody to it was my dad. I had my little jamba, my 14-foot jamba, and I had a, we had fish in these big live mullet, and I drifted this big live mullet back, and my dad, you know, who's done a lot of offshore fishing, never caught a tarpon, and I'd never really caught a big tarpon. I was, we were just out there fishing for fun. He hooks into this giant one. It chases us through the bridge everywhere, and then we chased him out here. Now, we're in a 14-foot jamba, and it was windy, man, and we got, I mean, probably twice as far as this offshore, just kept chasing him, chasing him, chasing him. And uh, finally my dad, you know, we had him up to the leader there and my dad was just like, that's it. Finally we popped him loose and he was like, oh my God. And uh, he was beat, man, it was wild. That's the one and only tarpon my dad's ever caught. Oh yeah? <laughs> as somebody that makes their living guiding people, when you have a day like this, you understand why it is that they book these trips years in advance and, and covet this time as, as their own and, and be just so guarded about that time. This is literally my backyard. That's my dad's house right there. I know. You know I'll get call, phone calls all year long. You, you, you still got my week open, right? You, you got my week open, right? We're going to be able to do that tarpon thing again, right? Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, we sure do. And, and uh, what we're going to do, though. That's why, you know, when you get this adrenaline rush and you have these images in your head of actually doing it yourself and being the one holding the rod, you understand. There he is. Get a bite? Yep. There he is. Oh, yeah. Oh, look at that jump. Oh, man. <laughs> Watch your rod. <laughs> That's cool, man. Oh, nice jump. The tarpon is, is really it's just a cornerstone of our fishery down here. It's something that people travel all, from all over the world to come down and fish with Rich and I and all the other guides in the Keys. They, they value this time. The tarpon is, is really the game fish that actually brings people in. A lot of people come down for bonefish. A lot of people come down for permit and everything else we have. But the world travelers, the guys that fish everywhere, they are very likely to come to the Keys specifically to fish for tarpon. To us. Now that's the beep, that's what I'm talking about right there. That's the fishing beep. That's the fishing beep. That other guy that came by scared me to death. He had a different sounding <laughs> horn. Oh yeah. Oh boy. Man, he saw much jumped in the boat. I told man. you, watch this. <laughs> no, you said watch this, not watch out. You need to say watch out next time. <laughs> All right, let's see how you work. You're probably gonna want me to grab that guy for you. Oh my. Yeah, that's our typical fish here, Tom. You know. <laughs> Salty? Salty. Salt water. Oh, very salty. 
face off. <laughs> you don't need to pick him up. Closed captioning is provided by Lorenz. We lead, we find, you win. The Hawks K Saltwater Experience presented by Yellowfin is brought to you by Hawks K Resort Marina and Villas. All the fun of the Florida Keys in one island resort. Yellowfin, only in a Yellowfin. Quantum Rods and Reels, fishing at a quantum level. By Mercury Marine. Lowrance, makers of HDS, high definition systems. By Bass Pro Shops, your adventure starts here. Sperry Topsider, a passion for the sea. And by Loadmaster, Power Pole, Corrosion Block, Ocean LED, and Tough Line. We make our living on tarpon. It is unquestionably the most popular game fish that we have in the Florida Keys, and we spend probably 80 or 60 to 80 percent of our time on the water, our guided trips, targeting tarpon, either as big ones, middle ones, um, small ones, you know, whatever. We respect them. That 80, 80 to 100 pound fish is probably close to 30 years old, maybe 40 years old. They might have just moved pilings too. Oh, there they oh. are. Is that you? John? No. See that big tarpon? No, that was not a baby there. You hear people say, oh, I fought fought this tarpon for an hour, I fought him for three hours. I mean, you hear this. Well, you know, if you fly a tarpon for two or three hours, he's not, probably not going to survive. This is going to be a good one. Oh, yeah, nice fish. Oh, we're going to have to come with the ball up here, Tom. You think so? Yeah, definitely, definitely. Oh, dump it, dump it, dump it quick. I'm on it. I'm on it. Big fish. Dump it as fast as you can. So expecting to catch some smaller fish, I start out with a 8 to 17 pound redfish rod with a and fairly light line. Rich hooks this one, All right. and it's a monster. Go <laughs> Hang on. Here we are, day off, going out in the fall, and I'd say that it's been years and years since I'd personally gotten to pull on a big tarpon like that. Hang on, Steve. I think you went through that far hole. Go right, go right, go right, go right. Stop. Yep, we're clear. Okay, I think he's left of this trap. No, I'm clear, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. Neutral. Oh my gosh, I wasn't expecting one that big, Tom. And it was awesome, it was really exciting. I mean, not to say my arm isn't sore, but it was a lot of fun. Oh boy. How, how are you looking on that piling? You plenty clear of that? I, think I can't I'm tell how much line you have. Just stay where you're at for now. What's that? Just stay where you're at for now, I think. I'm going to position myself so I can get to it. Yep, good idea. We can stay as close as you want. You might as well get close to him. Go ahead and go forward. I'm good. There he's coming up. Oh, yeah. I mean, my arm was hurting because I don't get to catch a big tarpon like that much. Usually I'm guiding. I'm going to get between you and that piling. Or uh, him and that piling. Neutral right here is perfect. Got him. I'm almost to the leader. Oh boy. He is he's coming up? Oh yeah, what a jump! Woo! I wasn't expecting one that big. I'm hooked into an 80 to 100 pound tarpon with an 8 to 17 pound rod that we'd use for redfish instead of tarpon. You know, seeing that big sucker come out of the water and hit the ball it just takes your breath away. Seems like we always hook the big fish on the small rods, doesn't it? I was expecting the 20 pounders, yep. this is a 60 or 70. He didn't know where he was hooked. You know, he could have been hooked, you know, in, just on the outside of the mouth and I could have really put some pressure on him. But if he was hooked, you know, in the, uh, you know, deep in, deep in there, which normally they aren't with the circle hooks, but he jumped a lot and probably abraded that leader. So I taken it a little easy on him. <sighs> man. Oh, come the on, rod, Sally. Man. I don't get to catch a lot of fish like you. I'm always finding them. I don't get to catch them much. But Man, I'll tell you how my arm was hurt, and we were chasing him around these lobster traps, going crazy. And, all right, Tom, go bump it to the left there. He's gonna get it by this trap here. We have to go to get on the motor, and I'm going all around. Uh, it's just neutral right here is perfect. We're getting it hung on on lobster pots. Tom, and go bump it to the left there. He's gonna get it by this trap here. And reversing, going forward, and he's jumping all around the boat. Oh, God, right here. Go left of that pile. Oh, never mind. 
Might jump again. Getting it around these pilings and just. All right, neutral. Reverse, reverse. Going forward, stopping, backing up this way, that way. Going left of that trap. Keep the rod high. You should be in good shape. There had to be constant communication between between Rich and I. Watch out, right out here, he might come up again. Because I can't really see the line clearly because of the console and everything else and, and him in the way. Yep, you wanna go uh, a little left. So you gotta talk to one another the whole time about, okay, he's, I think he's clear of the buoy or he's definitely clear of the buoy or no, you have to go around to the left or no, you have to go around to the right. We're good, neutral. Whether it's between Rich or I or whether it's between, you know, us and our customers, there has to be that communication. God, it's fun on this light rods though. So fun on these light rods. Feel every bump. This is what I grew up doing. The exact same spot, these exact same fish. It's just awesome to come come do it again, you know. We got out in the open, clear of the bridge, clear of the traps, and then I just had to work them. I mean, I'd put that pressure on as much as I could. He, and and it was just a tug of war for a while. All right, here he is. He's right at the boat. Coming up. Oh yeah, nice fish. Oh God. Yeah, there he is, right at the boat. <laughs> with this little rod. Little rod. Uh, it's the way it always is, you know. But it's, I'd rather catch a, a big fish on light tackle than oversize it, and you know. Okay, good. Is he around the buoy or not? Yeah, we're good. Coming up. Oh yeah. We got hardly any more buoys. I'm gonna try to get the boat to the left okay. of him here. Okay, he's right under. Might be able to handle him. Well, I was all ready. Fish wasn't. But I guess I have to do it on his schedule, apparently. Now, I think that fish is all of 80 pounds. This year has been that way all over the Keys, that the big tarpon, it seems almost like they didn't even leave and migrate. They, they just stuck around. I mean, they're, they're all over the place. And I'm so, sure that has to do with a lot of the storms that we've had. So often, you know, people think the Keys are, you know, the big tarpon are only here in, you know, April, May, June. Four Skeeter Bay boats are absolutely amazing. I've got it on everything from 30 foot center consoles to 16 foot skips. And when it comes to fishing around those bridges for those big tarpon, maneuverability is everything. Go right, go right, go right. Stop. Yep, we're clear. A little skiff can turn on a dime and chafe those fish under the bridge, but you're uncomfortable, you're getting wet and beat up, you can't carry much bait. These 24 Skeeter Bay boats allow us to carry 300 pilchards, have a safe dry ride, a stable platform to fish off of, and then when we do hook up that big fish, we can toss that anchor, spin the boat on a dime, and chase them through bridge pilings, around lobster traps. All right, neutral, reverse, reverse. It's the best platform I've ever fished off. Go forward. Yes, yeah, spin me around. We get out <clears throat> quite a ways from the bridge. And we think, okay, now we're free of the lobster pot. Everything else is, is out of the picture. And, and the fish is almost about to be landed. I've even got the gloves on. I'd like to stay close to him with all these buoys, you know? Yeah, I hear you. He's rolling over. There he goes. He's gonna do it again, right there. Neutral. is catch him quick. And I was under gun on that tackle, I really was. But we got him to the boat, we got him to the leader, and you know, probably 25 minutes. Okay, okay. see Here's if I can some. get the boat around a little bit. Coming up. Try to keep getting a breath this time. All right, I almost got my leader. All right, he's a caught fish in my book. Got the leader to tip of the rod in the tournament, I'd be popping him off. Three of the lobster pots. Everything else is, is out of the picture. And all of a sudden, that tarpon went crazy, and I knew it was happening. I've seen it before, 
and I couldn't believe it because I'd never seen it in the fall here. Like I've never really got these big tarpon in the fall. Just fight him. Don't listen to anything. Holy crap. Just fight him. Holy crap. Fight him. Holy crap. Oh my God. Oh, oh you're neutral, 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 neutral. Holy crap. Big, hairy. Oh my God, it's a thousand pounder. Here he is, this giant hammerhead. Oh my God. It was totally unexpected. Holy cow, I cannot. Ah! My heart started pounding. I looked down in the water and I was fighting this giant tarpon. I mean, a big tarpon, you know, 80 to 100 pound fish on this little rod, you know, crying at how hard he was pulling me around. And all of a sudden, my giant tarpon looked like one of those little pilchards that we were using for bait for those tarpon. Help me out here, Tom. Oh. Oh, God! God, I'm... Tom, which I can't say this was the smartest move in the world, but it was certainly a brave one, jumps on the back of the boat, very tentatively, I might add, and uh, tries to undo my line from, from, the, uh, from the prop, and successfully does it. I'm afraid to get around this thing like this, but I will. Okay, landing. Broke the rod. Here, here. Let's go after him. Next thing you know, I've got a broken rod, 80 to 100 pound tarpon on the line sizzling out, and a thousand pound shark I'm about to eat him. And all of a sudden, you know, by, by putting the engine back down and starting up and trying to go after the fish, we, we scared that shark away for a, for a few minutes. So we're thinking, well, okay. Whatever you do, man, you stay in this boat. the scope of things just really came into the picture because as you're watching a tarpon eat a pilchard, the tarpon is 50 times bigger than the pilchard. And the pilchard is there and the tarpon easily eats it in one bite. We're looking at this fish and Rich and I are saying, this is a huge fish. Can you believe how big this fish is? And the next thing you know, that tarpon looked like a minnow. Telling Looked you, like a minnow, right man. There, right there. If we see him again, we should just break that fish off. And I and, and, and I said, all right, I'm going to break him off. And then I thought, you know what? If I broke that tarpon off, this is unfortunately the problem. You get those, these big uh, tarpon to the boat, and you know you see a shark come after them. And after they've been fighting a while, they're weak. And if you break that tarpon off right then, he's going to get eaten by this shark that's on his trail. Here's the key. What we should do is run around this fish really aggressively, like ray around, and we'll, we'll, we'll scare the hammerhead away. I'm serious, it works good. Okay. I've done it a lot. Can't see your line. I'm good, I got I'm it. good. The Hawks K Saltwater Experience presented by Yellowfin is brought to you by Yellowfin, only at a Yellowfin. Fin Ore, legendary tackle since 1933. The Florida Keys in Key West, come as you are. Yeti Coolers, wildly stronger, keep ice longer. Motor Guide, never stop. By Sirius Marine Weather, satellite weather direct to your boat. And by Under Armour, King Sailfish Mounts, Stabil, Scott Fly Rods, and Plano. Successfully, we've done this numerous times where instead of breaking off my customers, big tarpon, you know, every time we see a shark and he's like, oh, why'd you break up my tarpon? You know, that might be the only bite we get all day. Um, by running around that fish, we scare the shark off and give the tarpon a little time to swim away without, you know, and kind of mess up that scent trail. This is how I've saved them before. It's, it's just like this. It kind of interrupts the smell pattern, I think. So. Oh, man, my heart is beating a million miles a second. That is a big, big, big shark. Around, 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 around. And then all of a sudden the shark's gone. And then we stop. And the next thing you know, here comes a shark over here. Neutral! Here I am with my broken rod. Tom's on plane going around in circles. Clear around the circles. engine. This big yeah, shark is going crazy trying to you know, catch this tarpon. Right here. Usually that, that, enough of that keeps the hammerhead off of them. And we basically just scooped the big shark down and the tarpon was floating it's right there under the surface, kind of gasping for air, saying, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. That hammerhead made that tarpon look like a pilchard. Unbelievable. Okay, here he is, right here. Right there. Oh yeah, okay, he's about done, too. I think we can get him, bud. All right. We see the tarpon, he's just sitting there motionless, scared out of his mind. I cannot believe the size of that hammerhead. I don't have that a thing... rod to work with. Go. I'm 
a draw door. Hey, you know what? If he breaks off, no problem. Here he is. Next thing you know, here's the tarpon popped up to, to roll. The shark comes back on him. Oh, there's a shark. Start the motor. Look at that shark. Oh, my God. No, get oh him off of there. Break him off. Break him off. Break him off. There he goes. Big shark, fat head of that hammerhead. No, Literally takes that tarpon and just pushes him sideways like that. After him. Go, go circles, circles, circles. Pushing him and pushing him and pushing him. Sit down. Sit down. Do circles around. We started just doing yeah, circles yeah, around that tarpon. We could see the tarpon just laying on the surface like that. Do a circle around the boat. There he is, right there. There he is, right there. Sit down. Sit down. Look at him right here. Oh, Sit down. God. Oh, Sit my down. God. Right there. Oh, God, no. No. I'm looking down, yeah, seeing the tarpon, that. seeing the shark. Oh, there he is, right no. Here. Right here. Sit down. Sit down. Right there. Get out of here, shark. Get out of here. There's the tarpon right there. We're doing whatever we can to, to salvage this tarpon and try to let him get out. We slowed down, we left down, and we saw that tarpon. He caught his breath. He's going, okay, the shark's gone. He, and he swam away. Okay, I'm not he getting away. He swam away. He did swim away. Okay, let's just stay up. And we're like, okay, I think we saved him. And we waited. I told him, turn off the motor, Tom. Let's just see what happens. That's one of those thousand pounders, I'm telling you. I mean, he looked as big as the boat. Dude. <laughs> That pit, that 80 pound tarpon looked like a pilchard. It was unbelievable. Oh man, is your heart not beating a million miles a second? When I saw that shadow down there, I could not believe that that was a fish. I mean, it literally was. It was the size of this boat. His hammer was like that, man. God, I mean, you. I'll tell you what, man. A tarpon is an incredible swimming fish, but there is nothing, nothing that can compare to that hammerhead. And we just went around and we could see the tarpon, see the tarpon, see the tarpon, see the tarpon. And then we stopped and he just shot off like that. He shoots off. Next thing we see, we see the shark milling around looking for him. Never found him. Let me tell you the technique I like the best was when the shark was right here and you're taking your rod and swatting at him. <laughs> That's gonna do a lot. <laughs> you know, you, you just love those tarpon so much, you don't want to see them get eaten. And I see Rich, he's just going, ah! With my broken rod, I was 